So I have been doing a little searching. I have some readings I'm working on. And then I have just, I'm not sure where this is coming from, but I want to know who the Antichrist is because I know he's upon the earth. Um, we've been taught that it's one person, but I have a feeling that's wrong. Um, Cassandra, my guide, says, me as a human, I do not know who the Antichrist is, but me as a higher self, she says, my higher self knows who the Antichrist is, and my higher self knows who the embodiment of the Antichrist is. It's not one person like we think it is. It is a collective, and my higher self knows them, she says has met them and so I'm going to go into a channeling I'm not sure if, if I'm channeling my higher self I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing here so hold tight I'm seeing myself walking into a domed building Kind of, um, I keep hearing a parliament building, but it's domed. As you walk in, it's domed. So you look way up, like stories up, and then there's stairs going to different floors. And I'm walking in. I'm dressed in black. I have a dress on, a, a suit. I'm in black. Total black attire. I have black shoes. I have black suit I'm the only one in this building and I'm standing in the center of that domed foyer why am I here why am I dressed in black I'm looking all around like I'm waiting for somebody. It's funny. I can see what I look like. I have like this bright red lipstick on with this black outfit. So you just see lips and black. No jewelry, which is odd for me. Okay, there's a group coming down the stairs, and they're dressed in black also. They're all men, older, some are bald, shaved heads. They have on, um, you know how judges have that, that black gown on that they put over their clothes? That's what these guys have on. They have those black gowns over their suits. They walk over to me. There's like a dozen or so of them. And they're all different ages. I would say from 40s to 70, 80. And they're standing, oops, before me. And I'm just standing by myself, looking at them. But I'm very, um, kind of in a warrior feeling, strong. Um, I'm not scared of them at all. But I'm strong standing on my side. But I'm, very, I'm still very curious why I'm wearing black. And they're wearing black. Ah, I look up, and there's light, there's windows at the top 
floor of the dome that go all the way around and there's bright light coming in that dome now and I'm seeing like doves flying around at the top of the dome this is symbol this is this is going to be a symbolic challenge you guys I'm not you're going to have to take this for what you're listening to my hands are behind my back as I stand there looking at them we're just staring at each other it's very interesting mm. they're taking me to vision of lands where they're all from it's middle eastern lands I'm seeing I'm seeing the ancient lands not Egypt but I'm seeing Iraq Iran Arabia I'm seeing all those lands a lot of these men are from those lands they're showing me where they're from <laughs> now I'm in the United States. There's some of them are showing me by um, probably Washington D.C. and Maryland uh, from that that segment of the United States. That little segment where Washington D.C. goes and goes out. They're showing me those lands. Some of them are from those lands. Uh, now I'm seeing Europe. I'm seeing a parliament building in Europe, like where the queen is. Queen's place, parliament. Oh, they're showing me some Africa land. So these men are from all over. They're all showing me from where the lands where they're from. So there's Africa. Middle East, United States. So there's over, there's about 12 or 13 men standing, just men, no women. I am looking at each one of them, trying to look into their souls, and I can't because they're blocking me. And I say to them, I want to know who the Antichrist is. And they said, you're looking at it. We are the Antichrist. But we are the strength behind the one. We will have a mouthpiece, just as you will have a mouthpiece come forward on your side. We will have a mouthpiece come forward on our side. And they will duel. They're going to duel. They're going to duel for the people's compassion. Their side's going to perform miracles that are false. To have the people believe their mouthpiece. And they're asking me, what are we going to do to match that? And I said, we have God on our side. People will know us. By the light. Okay, this is weird. I'm seeing um, on our clothes, like from our shoulders, there's blood running down our, sh our clothes on both sides. Because I'm wearing black too. I have blood running from my shoulders down my outfit. And so do they. This means something. I'm not sure what it means, but it means something. Does this mean war? I said no. But it will mean death. This means death. On both sides. 
can't stop it. You can't halt it. It's already done. It's already written. So I'm asking me, asking him when are these mouth pieces on each side coming into play. He says in your dispensation. We will rise ours up in the next seven years and you will have to match us. Are you prepared? They asked me. I said more than prepared. We will conquer you. And they smile. I said, remember my face, I say to them, because you will see it again. And you will know me from this day. They go, where is your mouthpiece? He's preparing. But look at my face. That's what's more important right now. I'm the strength here. I'm the knowledge. I'm the fighter. So you look at my face first. And you will know me. You will know my eyes. And you will know my face. And when we meet again, be prepared because I have more strength on my side than you know. So the blood that runs from my shoulders down has ceased. And now there's a violet light that is illuminating off my outfit as I speak. And I speak in ferventness and strength. I feel like I have this warrior shield right in front of me that's allowing me to face these men down that are the epitome of evil, the epitome of destruction, the epitome of off this earth inspiration. But I also have off this earth inspiration. Mine is for the good. The people will follow us. The people will understand us and our words. We will put light where there's darkness. We will put love where there's war. We will put peace where there's angst. And you can't stop us. Where we have the light, which is stronger than darkness. And this man steps forward and looks me in the eye. And he goes, but we are many, and you are one. I said, Jesus was one. And he changed the world. And he says to me, Jesus is dead. We killed him. I said, you can never kill him. He's never dead. He is the strength of the world. He blankets this world. His life is in me. His light is in me. So my dress is starting to change from black to a light gray. It's starting to turn lighter. It's very interesting, prolific symbolism here that I matched them and now I'm going lighter until my dress is white. My heart is white. My lips are clean from the red lipstick. And they see me now for who I really am. They back up. 
And they said, we will fight you. We will fight you till your death. And I said, do it. You have no idea what you're facing. You have no idea what strength we have within us. And they said, your strength can be nothing. For we rule the world. We have killed the world. And now we rule it. We will build it up our way in our dispensation, which is now. Now is our time of reign and rule. And I look at them, I said, not if I can help it. We are preparing for you. We will fight you. And we will love the people. And we will pick them up. We will clean them off. And then they will follow us. Because they want the light. They want the love. They want freedom. We can give them what you cannot. He says they don't know what they want. They're like sheep. They will follow us because we have money. We will give them money. What do you have? He said we will give them eternal life. They will have everything beyond riches. And they will know it. They will hear it from our mouthpiece. We will see, they say. We will meet again. Now we will know you. And I said, I will know you. Because I have seen you here. And the men back away from me. Because now my light is getting brighter and brighter. And it's hurting them. They're backing away. They're backing away. And they leave. Now I stand in this room in white. We have a fight on our hands, people. This is coming. Keep your eyes open and your ears peeled. You're going to see some changes happening. Have strength. Be fervent and always accept the light in your life. We are grouping, we are grouping up now. Holy 